My name's Helen and I work for the Mississauga Library. Today for the STEAM Club, I'm going to show you how to make these super cool crystals. So don't worry if you can't see them too well in this. Um, I will be getting them to post a picture of the crystals so you can see them up close. So you may need adult supervision to do this experiment because you will be using borax uh, laundry soap and you will be using um, boiling water or really hot water. So the supplies that you are going to need today is obviously borax laundry soap, a measuring cup, a glass container. So I just have a glass jar here and I have a glass uh, vase here. You're going to need some water, a tablespoon, something to go over your glass container to hold your, um, to hold your pipe cleaner. So something like this. So it could be a marker or a pencil, pencil crayon. It could be a spoon, um, chopstick or whatever you have. Uh, you're going to need pipe cleaners and uh, a spoon and your measuring cups. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your uh, container and then you are going to take your pipe cleaners and you are going to make a design with your pipe cleaners, uh, ensuring that when you put them on a string that they're going to be able to fit into your glass vessel without touching the sides or the bottom. Okay, so I've kind of made this little design here. So once you have your design, just kind of make sure that it's going to fit. So you are going to boil uh, hot water or uh, microwave it for at least uh, two minutes. Um, and you're going to fill your container. Now your vessel has to be one cup of water. So this is two cups of water and this is two cups of water, but the ratio of water to borax is one cup of water for every three tablespoons of borax. So because this is two cups of water, after I boiled it or put in the boiling water or I microwaved the water for um, two minutes, I would add because this is two cups of water, I would add six tablespoons of borax. So if I added my six tablespoons of borax into my vessel here, uh, you would stir this. Stir it really well for maybe like a minute. So stir it for about a minute. And then you are going to take your pipe cleaner and I've got some string here. You could use string. You could use, uh, I actually have some yarn here. You could use string. You could use dental floss. You could use fishing line. Um, whatever you have to suspend your pipe cleaner in the water. So I would make my little knot here. And once your borax is in the water, you're going to suspend your pipe cleaner into the water and you might need to play with the um, length of your string depending on your um, the shape of your uh, pipe cleaners because you don't want your pipe cleaner to touch the sides or the bottom of your uh, glass container and then what you're going to do is take some aluminum foil or uh, could be a, a paper towel or something um, and you're just going to cover the top of your container and you have to be careful because it is going to be hot from either microwaving your container or pouring the hot water uh, into your container into your vessel it is going to be hot so you're going to cover that up and you would leave this for 24 hours 
And after the 24 hour point, you're going to take out your um, pipe cleaner uh, and the crystals are going to be formed around your pipe cleaner. So when I was uh, trying learning about this experiment, um, a couple of websites told me that I could use um, food coloring and just to, to color the water and you would get that color um, crystals. So uh, the first experiment that I did, I did that. I used green water and uh, yellow water and blue water. And these are the ones that I did it with. These ones here, this one here. Um, and I did my experiment. I ran in the morning to check, I pulled it out. And I was kind of confused because they were all white. So what I learned was if you want colored crystals, you need to use a colored pipe cleaner. So these crystals, obviously all of these ones were done with a white pipe cleaner. The only one that actually turned out in my first experiment was this one as a color because I had used blue pipe cleaners. Another thing that I've uh, uh, read or learned is a lot of uh, sites will tell you that you can reuse the water. So after you do your first experiment, you let it sit for 24 hours, you pull it out, and then you can reheat your water in the microwave for two minutes, and then just add three more scoops of borax. So I tried that as well, and I did get a result, but it was not nearly as impressive as my first batch from scratch. So these are the ones that I had done with the reusable, uh, with the re, uh, recycled water. So they're okay, but they're definitely not as good as this first batch. Okay, the crystals are much better, much more defined. Another thing that I will tell you is that the more borax you add, so you have to add at least three tablespoons of borax for every one cup of water, but the more borax you use, the bigger, the larger your crystals will be. So you'll see this one, these crystals are a lot bigger than these crystals. This was three tablespoons, and this was probably maybe six tablespoons for every um, cup of water. So you may be wondering how this all works. Hot water holds more borax than cold because the borax dissolves in the hot water. When the borax no longer dissolves, you have a saturated solution. And that's why I've already told you one cup of water for every three tablespoons of borax. Hot water molecules hold more than cool. As the water cools down, the water molecules will start to release the borax and the crystals will start to form. So I encourage you to try this experiment. Try um, uh, different containers, try different shapes, add more borax um, than the three tablespoons and see if that makes a difference. Uh, you could add glitter to these when they were done. You could make jewelry. You could make uh, keychains. You could make uh, something for your desk. You could make ornaments. Uh, you can make gif gifts. Uh, these are really cool and you can use them for a lot of uh, really fun um, activities. So thank you for watching. Please visit our website for details on what's coming up for our digital 24 seven services, where you can download eBooks, audiobooks, music, magazines, and so much more. Thank you.